Next up, at UFC Vegas 89, we have Billy Quarantillo Ooh. taking on Yusuf Salal. <laughs> Billy Quarantillo, 18 and 5 overall, 3 and 2 in his last five, alternating wins and losses. He's taking on Yusuf Zalal, 13 and 5 overall, 3-3-1 three, three and one in his last five, coming off back to back regional wins to get back into the UFC. You just threw me off there. What's funny is we slice and dice these videos. So we do the full two hour, whatever it is on YouTube. And then I slice it. Each individual fight gets cut up. It gets uploaded to our second YouTube channel and Twitter and TikTok. And the opening part of this video was you convulsing. And anybody who didn't watch the full version on YouTube has no idea why the hell you're they're convulsing. Gonna be like, What's going on? And they're going to thank you. It's, uh, it's how you get clickbait. And so that's how the internet works. So, oh, that's how. If you need any more explanations, let me know. I need a ton of them. I'm, I'm not the internet guy. I'm just a, just a, just a family Where do I man. Put it? That's the wrong hole. <laughs> Is it true? If you don't use it, you lose it. Is that true? We got Billy Q. First of all, that was a good reference. Fuck you. I mean, Fuck pretty, you. Uh, that no, was that such, was, that a was good... such an old man. I mean, that was such an old man reference. From a from a hilarious movie. You were calling me an old man. So then I referenced the movie where an old Do man like doesn't do know yourself. Yeah. You know, bags of sand. Do you like to do it yourself? Oh, oh, but now, but but you can reference it. Well, that's a more obscure line. Wait, right? what a joke! What a joke! Like you, you, you're 37. It's like you're 23, and I'm 40. Like let's let's. Why don't I <laughs> Listen, am I, acting appropriately I am, for my? I am it's you that's the issue. I am 100 percent serious when I say age is just whatever. Yeah, you we feel. are very <laughs> we and, are very far fucking, apart. I am 25 probably my entire <laughs> life. I have not mentally grown older than fucking, and I love it, man. <laughs> And it, it shows in, in our, in the way we look, it shows in the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, have two Just little stay kids. stay young, man. Fuck yeah. it. Who gives a fuck? That's what I'm oh, saying. I mean, it, even like on Twitter and stuff, sometimes people are like, you realize you're like 37 years old. I don't give a fuck, dude. I'm going to act like how I fucking act. I'm going to enjoy my fucking life. No, and you're the haters good. can fucking, I'll tell them what they can fucking suck <laughs> right here. <laughs> I'm waiting. Yeah. <laughs> and we're canceled. Yeah, anyway. We got Billy Q taking on Yusuf Zalal. This is interesting line movement. Minus 300 opener for Billy Q. I get it. Right? He's a he's a tried and true UFC guy at this point. He's taking on Yusuf Zalal. That guy was cut. They cut him. They're like, you're boring. You're not winning. You're cut. He got a couple of regional wins. And now he's stepping up on short notice to get back into the UFC. And the betting public was like, Billy's going to lose this fight. And all this money came in and just collapsed the line. It is starting to rebound. It's starting to widen. Uh, I'll tell you right now, I have a bet on Billy Q. I got it at minus 146. If you pick Yusuf Zalal to win, this will be my $300 bet openly bet. I'll tell right. you what. All right. That's fucking okay. All right. Oh, done. Shit. Perfect. Oh, Perfect. my God. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that I'll do all day. You're oh an absolute moron. We got God. Billy Quarantillo. This guy is a good grappler and a solid striker with incredible aggression. His striking is not the most technical, but it is effective. He lands almost eight significant strikes per minute. He moves forward and he stays in your face. Ultimately, he does have that weird striking style and fantastic BJJ. He only has a 23% takedown accuracy, but he does have 10 takedowns in 10 UFC fights. He's coming off that decision win over Damon Jackson where he completely outworked him. He's taking on Yusuf Zalal, the gentleman who was cut. The UFC said, we no longer need your services. And then he went in the regional scene, beat up three people nobody has ever heard of, and then he got a short notice callback, and now Jacob is putting all of his money on him to win. Style-wise, he is a very well-rounded guy. He likes to hang out on the outside. That's translation for boring. He's got decent takedowns. He averages more than two takedowns per fight, but he does have a low accuracy of 31%. His striking style is stay on the outside. Boring. And point fight. Boring. And while Zalal can be low, very low volume, boring, he also has very good defense. He's only hit with 1.75 significant strikes per minute, which considering he has six decisions, boring, in the UFC, that is an incredible statistics. I like Billy Q in this spot. I already bet against the bookies at minus 146. 
Of course, Zalal is technical, and he could turn this into a snooze fest and land one punch every 38 minutes. But I think Billy Q is going to stay in his face, take this decision. He is the actual UFC fighter who was not cut, and he was the one who was already on this card. And now I'm defending this fight way more than I should be because Jacob's about to say the other side for some bizarre reason that makes no sense. I'm going to take the bet openly bet. Why don't you try to pretend that Yusuf Zalal wins this fight? Love to hear it. I'd love to hear it. Listen, I, I sat here at the beginning of the year, and I told you guys that Factory X was going undefeated in 2024. That's why. We got, okay, that's we got why absolutely we got absolutely fucked last week with Isaac Dolgarian, but Zalal is part of that camp. He's been ready. He's been looking forward to this fight. I actually knew that he was going to get this fight. I thought he was going to get this fight uh, be be well before it was announced. I was pretty excited because I am going to be at this card, and I cannot wait to see Yusuf Zalal make his return to the UFC and beat a legend in Billy Q. I have all the respect in the world for Billy Q. I love Billy Q. How can you not love Billy Q? This is a tough son of a bitch, but he wins a lot of these fights. Kind of like we saw C-Rod do last week, right? Where you just kind of get beat up a little bit. I mean, Alexander Hernandez was just like touching him up, beating him up, started gassing. He wins a lot of fights by outlasting people that gas, that try to finish him. Yusuf Law, as you mentioned, not really that guy. He's not a guy that's just going to come in and blow his load and then Billy Q's going to get over him or start overwhelming him with pressure and all this whatever and be able to beat this guy down. Yusuf Zalal is known for his footwork, to be in and out, to strike. Not only that, but he's really kind of picked up the wrestling and grappling and that's where Yusuf Zalal is going to win this fight because he's going to dance around. He's going to point. This dude doesn't get tired. He's going to be in. He's going to be out. He's going to get Billy Q a little bit frustrated touching him because Billy Q can't get frustrated and then he's going to take Billy Q down. He's going to win the rounds. This is probably a decision fight. I love the over two and a half, but in a decision fight, I believe that Yusuf is not going to wear down like Billy Q's past opponents. He's going to touch him. He's going to mix in a takedown, and Billy Q can get taken down, and that's how Yusuf's going to win this fight with takedowns, with control, and he's going to win uh, He's going to win this fight. I think he can win a fucking... I think he can 30-27 <clears throat> Billy Q with his, with his point fighting, with the takedowns, and Billy Q is not going to be able to do what he normally does, and that's just kind of wear people down. You're not going to wear down Yusuf's law. Yeah, obviously we are very, very, very far apart on our breakdown. I mean, they cut him. Why did he get cut? He's so good. He so turned technical. fucking Ilya Tapori into a fucking wrestler. Ilya Tapori. He outlanded Ilya, reversed him a couple times, had two and a half minutes of control time versus Ilya. This is the only dude that Ilya Tapori hasn't just fucking, like, basically just fucking destroyed was Yusuf Zalal. He's had so a great... I mean, he's got him. a great... He's had a great co competition. He's fought better people than fucking Billy Q. Billy Q's beat Damon Jackson. Alexander Ooh. Hernandez, who almost fucking oh. put him out. Mowgli, Kyle Nelson, oh. Spike Carlisle, Jacob Kilburn, Cormella Kirk. These are people that everybody beats. He's lost to everyone he should lose to. Gavin Tucker, Shane Burgos, Edson Barbosa, and he's gonna use he's gonna lose to Yusuf Zalaw because Yusuf Zalaw is the better fighter. I uh I'm this I'm looking forward to this one. This one I, I saw the name, I saw the matchup. I'm like, we're good, dude. We're good. And then the fact that you're going to throw another 300 on the top, I love it. I love it. Yeah, look, I'm trying looking to, at the record now being like, I uh, am looking. No, yeah, no, no. I am. lost to Ilya. He lost to Sang Woo Choi, which was low volume. A weird fight against Sean Woodson, who was a tough fight for anyone, right? Super no, I agree. Long. I agree. And then and he, he fought doesn't... against Damon Blackshear. It was a draw. He was out wrestling Damon Blackshear. Demont. So listen, I. What works for Zalal is... Oh, here's the backtrack. Here's a little panic. No, 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 no. The reason he's not getting knocked out, finished, and he's losing these close decisions is because he is so boring and he stays on the outside. Billy Q just moves forward. He has that awkward style. It's a weird style that you can't time in the way he moves, and he just moves forward. That's all he does, just moves right forward. Zalal has no power. I'm not worried about the takedowns. I, not worried about the takedowns. No, I'm not worried about the power. So you're going to play the, the take under downs. on takedowns uh, Friday when those drop. For this well, line. we don't know what the line is, do we, you fuck whistle? Well, it doesn't matter do if it's a, it do could we? be a fucking half a takedown. You're gonna, you should play the under if you don't think he's going to Well, I said I'm not down. worried about takedowns. Doesn't oh, mean he might not get taken down. Oh, he can pop back up. Okay, here we go. Idiot. This is going to be a hard pill for you to swallow. I'm going to be there. and I, I'm, 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 okay. I'm going to show you. I'm gonna, this is what I'm going to do. You, the, Yusuf Salah is going to win this fight. And I'm going to okay. win, what was it, 300, was it three, I bet 200 to win 300, so you're going to give me $300, I'm going to take that $300, and I'm going to film myself 
handing that to some homeless person and say, thank you, Angelo. This is your money <laughs> that you're giving to a homeless person. Yeah, just take a picture so I can write it off of my taxes. Okay. Smart guy. Are you going to spend $7,600 on the lowest DraftKings scorer of all time, Yusuf Zalal? Uh, probably not. I said Ah. Yeah, but you think he's going to be the wrestling champion I think of the you can world? You get one takedown around and control him at the end of rounds. Mm. Well, control time counts. Uh, th this is where you're going to look stupid. You wanted to bully me before. I bullied you into this bet, and I'm very happy I bullied you into this bet, and I'm going to enjoy taking your you money. Bully me. If you, you didn't want bully to me take. You, if you, I, you, you said you want to bet. I was like, yep. 300, okay. There was no fucking bullying. You're the guy that was right. running his mouth, and then you're like, oh, $50. Fucking Jacob was bullied into this bet, and you can bully the bookies with our bets, our insight, our tools, our round line leans, and so much more. We want picks.com. Just click become a member at the top. It is only $10 an entire month. Jacob is about to pay me 300 months of membership. You can just get one month for $10. We do have a couple of super chats. Dollar ninety nine from Anwell to Brr. Three hundred months would be a dollar. We didn't bet three thousand dollars. He said, "Bruh, no way." Jacob is thirty seven. Thought homie was twenty five to twenty nine. Jacob is aging very, very well. He looks fantastic for his age, and that's a true statement. Caesar picks Nama Yunus via decision. Boys, lock flying money. You're the goat, Angela. Well, this guy gets it. Thank I you, love it. Cesar. Thank you to sit there and create that account. <laughs> Thank you. I just keep sending my own money to me just so YouTube could take it away and I could just make it back on the other end minus 30% or whatever the hell That's called YouTube money takes. laundering. No, that's called just giving YouTube money for no that's reason. That's called money laundering. How would that be money laundering? That is called. I've watched plenty of documentaries, Angelo. Yeah. No, I watched uh, the Bird family and they launder money. Idiot. What's your, I mean, what's your deal tonight? Because you show up yelling, screaming, acting a I fool, up doing life. gyrations. Well, you you enjoy life by doing gyrations and making weird innuendo jokes, and I enjoy life by bullying the weak. So we're both enjoying life right now. And who's to say your way is right and my way is wrong? Before you go, let me give you $50. Anybody who goes to wewantpicks.com slash bets and signs up with any one of our affiliate partners gets $50 as a thank you. Use the link, sign up, make a deposit. We send you 50 bucks as a thank you.